Hello, ladies and gentlemen, all the Metagrid users around the world. Hope you're doing good, you're staying safe and creative out there. I'm good here in Warsaw, Poland. My hand is getting better. I even got a fancy new plaster. Last time I told you what Metagrid is in general and how I got into it. And now it's time I'm going to show you how I use it. I'm going to give you an insight into my layout of Metagrid and you're going to see it working in music production and sound design in my DAW, which is Nuendo 10. Let's go for it. As some of you may already know, my Metagrid setup is based actually on two iPads and this is how it looks like. And I've got almost 200 buttons here made into groups so I don't get lost and I have everything organized my way. And the first group, initial group, is the project and file group. And this is where I import, export, open, close and save things. And we can go with this one actually to open a project with one click. And let's open some music I made recently for a commercial for Mazovia region. This is a region I live in, a beautiful one. And here it goes. It's of course ready, it's all mixed, all produced and all published, but still I can imagine a situation when I want to change something, let's say. For example, let's switch this uh, MIDI track into audio track so I can render in place with just one button of my Metagrid. Mm. Let's revert this and let's do something else. Let's get into the piano roll of this instrument. Yeah, this is the main piano sound and I can quantize the lens or quantize the ends of the notes. I can make the notes uh, legato here, for example. I can <laughs> transport, I can bounce the MIDI, I can quantize here and do some other stuff. This is really helpful and fast when working with MIDI notes. Let's move on, guys. Here's, for example, my transport section. I can cycle here. I can return on start when playing. I can open my transport panel. Uh, I can open my automation or quantize panel as well, etc., etc., etc. I'm not going to show it all to you, but you can see this is really very convenient and this is working really very fast, right? The same with the section on the left. I can change the quantize, the grid of the project. I can add markers or I can add a cycle markers really very quickly. Really, the, the possibilities are endless here. What I really like very much about my setup is that I can call up any uh, any crucial windows with menus and panels of Nuendo, like ADR preferences, uh, key commands, uh, project setup or, or studio uh, setup, uh, also audio connections. I also got my video here and my mixer window here. More of goodies are on the left here. I can create tracks with an instant click like audio, MIDI tracks, I can create instrument tracks and I can create groups of tracks. I can create FX tracks. And did you actually guys see how fast it is. It took me seconds to create any tracks of my of my choice, but this is not all. I can create track versions. I can duplicate, enable, lock, unlock, convert all my tracks. It's all here. Also, any clip edits like on my timeline, both MIDI and audio are here. I can create fade ins, fade outs, crossfades. I can move, group and ungroup all my clips. It's also all very fast. I got some mixer settings here. Like this is great for Nuendo. It lets you do a lot of great commands with your mixing, like uh, redoing, undoing, taking snapshots of your mixer, loading and saving some, some channel settings and stuff. Also here, this small blue section, I can edit my channel settings instantly like this, or my instrument settings like this. Let's take any instrument channel. And yeah, this is ample guitar, for example. The bottom part of this Layout also lets me solo mute, write and read tracks or the whole project, which is also possible for Nuendo. I had the second instance of a mixer here and I got this magic mix down button here. And here are some of the buttons I could not 
uh, assigned to any of the groups, so they are just here. These are just additional things I use. But let's get back to the right iPad for, for a while, guys, because Nuendo not only lets you create, of course, tracks, but it's got something called track presets. So it's like your VST of your choice with all the inserts, all the routing and stuff. It's like ready to work track of in some kind of an advanced mode and here are my favorite vsti's i use and this is like magic people i'm gonna press this thing yes and my serum track with inserts and routing of my choice it's all here with one click of a button if i wanted to make it analog so i'm gonna do it like analog i mean like with a normal keyboard usage i'm gonna show it to you how it looks like Control alt p it's a sh shortcut for track presets now i have to click here i have to write down vst serum i have to click this thing and add track yeah, it's the same, but you know what that means. That means sounds of saved time. As simple as that, people. And this is actually a macro for my Nuendo. It's a macro not coming from Nuendo itself, but it's a macro coming from my Metagrid. I'm not going to talk about macros too much right now, but I'm going to just show you the construction of one of them. And let's take this Serum thing. Here are the assigned actions that I use with this button. And I press Control alt p here, I press Tab three times, I write the name, I press Tab once again, down, down, I make a short break, I press down, down once again, and I press Enter. And all that, it really feels like complicated a long list of commands or something. No, it's not, guys. It's really fast. Let's make it again. Yeah, and that's it. And that's for the whole of the rest of my instruments. And now let's get into sound design for a while. It's in the very same project, I have to tell you, music plus sound design. So I can take any of my audio clips. Let's take like this one, maybe. Boo! <laughs> yeah, it's boo. I can reverse it easily. I can change the pitch or retime the clip. I can detect silence, remove offset. I can stereo flip, resample and stuff. Like all I need again is here for me. These are just 12 commands I use most. Here comes the section for my Isotope RX. This is kind of an advanced one. And now you're going to see why actually. I take a clip of my choice. Let's take this one. Let's bounce it first. Yeah, and now let's send it to RX Connect. It's here. And guys, magic happens. The screen changed. This is my isotope window with Metagrid because Metagrid can actually detect the focus, so-called focus, your app. So it knows which app you're currently using. All my RX editing is here at hand. And again, I can edit anything I wish, like the clicker, and I can send it back to Nuendo in a second. Again, it's kind of a complicated macro here, I have to tell you. Control, return, break, control, return, break, control, alt, shift, F7. That may sound complicated, but it takes it takes like seconds, as you could really see. But let's not talk about RX. It's going to be probably a separate episode, how I use it with uh, Metagrid. Let's get back to my main Nuendo layout. And here is also another page, like on my left iPad. And I've got some uh, track presets for my audio tracks when I do the sound design or movie sound. For dialogues, voiceovers, Foley, SFX, atmospheres and music. Some of them are mono, some of them are stereo. So again, I can bring up any track of my choice, like for, for dialogue editing or mixing. And guys, this is just my setup. This is how I work. I try to show you some of the stuff I'm using really quick 
So it's not like a full tutorial of my layout. And this is like, like not the full view of my layout, but just to give you a glimpse of what I'm capable of doing with my Metagrid Enuendo and how fast and efficient it can get. I hope you liked what you just saw, guys. And let me say this again very clear. This is just barely scratching the surface of what Meldegrid is capable of. I know that I got really faster in what I do and I also started working deeper because Meldegrid itself let me discover my DAW, my new endo in new ways. It let me reconnect to my DAW and make a real true relationship to this software. And yeah, there are maybe still some functions I would like to welcome on board. I'm missing maybe them some, somehow, but uh, Metagrid is still being developed. The team creating Metagrid is constantly implementing new things, featuring new stuff. So yeah, maybe one day I'm gonna hey, say hello to editing Metagrid from my desktop computer, not from my iPad. I would like to have a choice of that kind. I would also like to have more options of customizing the buttons, like with my own icons, for example. I wish it was better integrated with Nuendo, actually, because the integration with Cubase is great and it's there in Metagrid, but I'm still having some issues when translating into Nuendo, which is a different kind of a beast. Also, some MIDI control controls like MIDI CC MIDI faders would be great to have them there. But as I said, it's all possible. Guys are working on new versions all the time. They are listening also to customers. So I'm not surprised to see some of that stuff or maybe all of it when some time passes. For today, it's all guys. In the very next episode, I'm gonna take a deeper look into Metagrid macros and I'm gonna create some of them alongside with you. For now, take care, stay safe, stay creative and keep using Metagrid. Cheers.